druggy versus vegan. Here are just some examples I found which are very strange and very true. For example, when a druggie talks about scoring, it's always about some illegal drug. However, when a vegan talks about scoring, it's most likely about some illegal type of food like raw almonds. Hey, come here. Look, look what I got. <laughs> raw almonds, yeah. Oh, hide them, quick. Oh, okay. Act normal. Now, that's just one example. The next, when, uh, when a druggie talks about shooting up, you know it's usually about cocaine or heroin. However, when a vegan talks about shooting up, it's about the B12 injection. Because when you've been vegan for a very, very long time, many, many, many years, like over 10 or 20 years, your, your body will deplete itself of B12. It doesn't matter how much supplements or superfoods or whatever you're doing because you don't know we're only human. We don't know exactly how much we're actually getting. And because we're only human, we do forget sometimes. You can't always remember to take your B12. So if you start having symptoms or you get blood work done a lot, then, well, a lot of them don't, but if you have symptoms and bad things start happening to you, then you probably will find out eventually. And then you'll come to this point in your life where you have to decide what you're going to do. Are you going to start injecting B12? Or are you going to go back to eating meat like I had to do? Yep, it happens. And I'm not the only one. Statistics show that about 80% of people who have done long-term vegan vegetarian diets always go back to having to eat meat because of health reasons. That's true. Anyway, not to get off topic. Vegans, oh, yeah. Uh, dr druggies get low on B12 from drugs, which is any drug really, not even druggies. I mean, anyone who uses any kind of drugs, even aspirin, even antibiotics, if you use any of that stuff, chances are you're going to deplete yourself over time if you use enough of it. However, with vegans, because usually vegans are pretty health conscious, um, they don't really, I know I never did any, I never really got sick except for a couple times really bad and I never got headaches, never took aspirin, nothing like that. But anyway, so chances are if you're vegan, it's going to be from your diet then. You will be low, B12 deficient because of your diet over time. Um, druggies usually worry about getting bad dope. They want to make sure usually that it's clean, I guess. And vegans usually worry about getting bad water. So, you know, I know for for example, when I used to go to a restaurant, I always had to ask them, or I'd usually take my own water with me because I want to make sure that it's clean water. I don't want tap water, and I'm still like that, and that's good. You don't want to drink chlorine or fluoride or anything like that. It's really not good for you. Um, that also will deplete your B12, actually, the fluoride and the chlorine. Um, druggies, they go to Woodstock music festivals and vegans, you got it, they go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival. How ironic. Druggies like to have other druggy friends and vegans like to have other vegan friends because when you're vegan, you feel like the meat eaters just don't get it. I know. 
I used to think like that too because I was vegan for a very long time. Uh, druggies, they uh, they need to do more drugs over time because they get desensitized and to get the same high they need to keep doing more and more drugs usually. Vegans, over time they need to start eating more and more foods um, more juicing, more bigger salads. I know, for example, with me, um, my salads got humongous over time because what happens is over time you deplete yourself. And to make up for all this depletions of all these food groups you're not eating, you try to make up for it by eating more salads and more greens and more sprouting and more this and more of the same of that. And you like you get way too much of one thing because anything you can overdo you can overdo anything you can you can OD on water okay you can of course you can overdo on juices I used to juice like mad and now that I think about it it was crazy because could you eat 10 carrots I don't think so so why would you juice them and drink them that's a lot of sugar and in nature no, we would be lucky to probably find one or two carrots <laughs> when we are hunter-gatherers, that is, and probably not even every day. Um, when, uh, okay, this is funny. This is so strange. I was doing some research, and it looks like approximately... 8% of the U.S. population uses illegal drugs, and on another study, I was looking at the percentage of vegan vegetarians, and again, approximately 8% of the U.S. population is vegan or vegetarian. How ironic is that? Well, that concludes our video. Take care.